Oh, fuck. That scared me so much. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Zoo Tycoon 2. In this one we'll be starting a brand new park. As a way to celebrate autumn, I wanted to do uh, nothing more appropriate than a temperate forest park. Now, you might be wondering, um, temperate forest is basically any forest you can think of. I mean, most forests are temperate. Um, in fact, if a forest changes color every season, that's a temperate forest. Uh, boreal forests, such as uh, the ones in the north, mostly North America, uh, obviously are different. But most of Europe, as you can see here, is uh, covered by temperate forests, even parts of Scandinavia, actually. Parts of Norway, it seems like. But of course, there's boreal forest up there. Uh, also, big parts of Asia, even China. And we will also find temperate forests... Uh, in western, southwestern Australia, big chunk of North America as well, and uh, South America, and uh, this is actually where one of our animals will come from. Uh, what animals are we going to be including uh, in uh, this park? Well, let's have a look. So we have the animals that live in temperate forests here, and actually I sorted them by star rating. So we have peafowls and a lot of other stuff. And we'll be importing a lot of animals from different countries. Because I decided to start in the Atlas Mountains of North Africa. Uh, Atlas Mountains are located in uh, countries, in multiple countries, uh, not just Morocco. And uh, this is why I chose this very dark, eerie first soundtrack. Because as you can read... In ancient Greek myths, these mountains in northwestern Africa were uh, where the giant Atlas stood, holding the heavens on his back. And the reason why he was holding the heavens on his back is uh, that was his atonement after the week-long um, wars of gods or something like that. I'm not really uh, well-versed in, in that topic. But yeah, that's where we are going to start. And our first challenge uh, will be the gift card challenge. As a disclaimer, I have changed my microphone settings. I added a gate and I don't really trust um, microphone gates. So if I'm cutting out, I'm, I'm sorry. I've, uh, I've tried so many things so far, but it's not perfect still. But what can you do? So this challenge, we need uh, 20 guests coming to the zoo and we get a free gift card. I will accept it because might as well. Let's check if we have a key file. We actually do. I'll show you the park in a second. Uh, for now, the map. As you can see, there's a giant mountain range uh, in the area. Giant uh, circular mountain range. There's also some smaller mountains left and right. Actually, let's show it. What Might as well. I'm, I don't think we're going to fail the challenge. I just imagine this soundtrack playing when Atlas is holding, you know, the heavens. I guess um, he is the mountain range itself. So we have a lot of ups and downs. But that's fine. Where should we put our peacocks? It doesn't really matter at the very beginning, I guess. I want to be using low chain, low chain link fence. Later. Ah, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. The reference. Uh, I'm actually gonna be buy buying um, more females. I'm not sure if it's good or not for the breeding. Here we go. <clears throat> we don't have uh, the right path, unfortunately. The closest we have is Safari Path, but as you can see, it's a bit different. So we'll be using Asphalt. Let's just do it this way. Uh, 
And let's try to find some more peacocks. Um, in the meantime, let's put down some donation boxes. I like the endangered one for here, it's really foresty. It's a weird ass fence, but it will have to do. Uh, one of the reasons I picked Atlas Mountains as a starter, it's right in between all the temperate forests, so it's right in the middle of uh, everything. We can import animals from Australia, South America, North America, uh, Europe and Asia. I actually have some uh, little info for you guys about the Atlas Mountains. So it ranges across Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia. Uh, this mountain range actually separates the Mediterranean um, and the Atlantic. So the shoreline from the Sahara Desert. There were a lot of extinct animals. There are a lot of uh, animals that used to live here. Um, namely the Barbary Lion, the Atlas Bear. Um, the North African Elephant was also around uh, around the Roman times, but it, went, uh, it got extinct. <clears throat> And more importantly, nowadays, we have animals such as, you know, the Barbary Ape uh, there still that we are going to be uh, getting from the local area. Let's put down some stands and then we can... Um... But the upkeep is so much, I don't know if it does anything. I know I said this before. I feel like I'm having a deja vu feeling, honestly. Did, did I do this before? Here we go. Let's put down two toilets. Uh, the upkeep is the same for them. So let's do just that. And uh, I don't think we need picnic tables, honestly. need some trash cans and then here we can put um, the desert cart dessert cart and then here the um, gift card that we are going to get soonish and voila we got some actually we got two this time so let's buy, hmm, I'll actually buy one more, because I'm not intending on buying any more animals until we reach one star. And at one star, we'll get the Aurochs. Um, it's gonna be super expensive because it's an extinct animal, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure, um, but there's nothing else temperate for us that we can buy at one star. Or indeed half a star. You can actually reach uh, one and a half stars with just these peacocks, I think. If we get enough of them and we get our educational habitats and whatnot uh, up and the release to the wild.
I really like this soundtrack. It's from um, the video game called Pyre from Supergiant Games, composed by uh, Darren Korb. Hopefully I won't get fucked with copyright. I mean, I did ask them. It's really starry, you know, like you look up to the sky, you see the stars and you... This soundtrack reminds me of that. And what I wanted to talk about actually in today's video... Uh, today I watched a video about the ancient Romans and uh, hence why I picked this starter. I'm pretty sure the Rom the old uh, Roman Empire ruled around uh, the Atlas Mountains or at least fought some wars around here. Anyways, I watched a video about them and how they kept dogs the same as we. There were a lot of different you know breeds of dogs they had. And they were just the same as us, except they lived 2,000 years ago, you know. The only difference between us and them is just time. They used to do a lot of different stuff. A lot of uh, the same stuff as we do. Um, you know what, I might as well um, put down a small pond. These birds cannot swim these these are okay the adult ones are kind of okay the chicks are gonna be a little bit of a problem but the thing is I'm gonna be running out of water I'm pretty sure so I want to make sure that they have infinite water um, you know Let's put some fence around it too. Let's arrange the trees. Uh, we got the challenge already, that's very nice. I like that a lot. Could be better, could be worse. And these peacocks are actually, uh, we imported them from Asia. So our first animal is not even uh, from Africa, it's from Asia. And here we go, the male is uh, falling. Guests love this, as you can see. I think they give us more donations. I read that somewhere that guests just absolutely love that. Let's put down our gift card, shall we? Let's unbox it. Uh, you can move it around. It's not like a stand where you cannot move it. Uh, you can move it anytime you want. And we have a peacock. Backpack. That guests are going to love. <laughs> Could have another exhibit around here, this mountain range. Not to mention jeep rides and uh, later on sky tram systems. We could have some really co cool jeep rides that uh, make use of elevated pops. Oh, how much I love elevated pops and when guests are falling through it. actually want some do this oh no that's just a flower post i always uh, thought this was a lamp but you unlock the lamp later a globe statue would be the most amazing thing that you've ever seen in any zoo quite literally 
but we import animals from all around the globe as i said south america uh, north america there aren't any temperate forest animals as far as i'm concerned uh, mostly asia like our peafowls some from australia as you'll see can you guess which animals we'll uh, get from australia by the way and we are right there north africa and also some uh, Eurasian, European, Asian animals. If we do decide to get the extinct ones. Again, um, these arches are just free. They take up free tiles, it's super lame. <laughs> uh, common people are taking a dust bath. So we'll have to wait until a people. Let's stop the game just in case. Uh, we have to wait until a pee file gets really dirty. And then they are going to take a dust bath. Um, what we have to make sure is that they are not cleaning their feathers. Because there, there's actually two ways they can be cleaning their feathers. Um, actually cleaning the feathers themselves and taking a dust bath. And they normally preen their feathers when they are in a birch tree, so we have to stop that. Here we go. I should have saved the game because photo challenges are really buggy. Half the time they don't give you the challenge. So we'll see. I think these uh, non-marine ones are actually okay. But another 100% on that. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why I made that sound. So we got a little extra cash. The way I like to think about it is that uh, the 1500 we got is just another p file, and that kid is uh, kid is being stupid, I guess. That's fine. I also want to put down a sundial at some point, and this archway can actually be quite cool. Um. Hmm. Next star rank, if we do buy an Orox. In a way, I like to think about the Atlas Mountains as a portal to the past, because there are there were just so many animals that lived and died here. I mean, the Atlas Bears, the um, Barbary Lions went extinct because of overhunting. Uh, not to mention the North African Elephants. What if at some point, and I'm just speculating here, but at some point the aurochs that lived in fact in Europe it even went down um, all the way to Spain, so it's very likely that it could have gone to the Atlas Mountains. Which is what we are going to replicate, and we'll check the moose uh, for the right type of fence. Chain link fence is uh, fine. Wooden rail is a bit more expensive, unfortunately. We could even have a giant range of uh, range for the aurochs, but you know me, guys. I don't like those type of like oh, just a fence to fence zoos. But if we did that, we could uh, use the other fence because we are saving money, right? I'm just going to follow my heart and do the mountain range exhibit. We are going to place the fence on the edge of this uh, little, not mountain, but hill.
it's a bit random, you know, it's a bit different. on the side here a little bit of uh, open grassland here a lot of money but looks kind of cool a little bit wacky and weird I like it Let's not get, <laughs> let's not uh, get a bit too wacky actually, and remove that part. In the meantime we should clean up the zoo. Uh, people are waiting at that restroom for some reason and not this one. I, I'm, tr I'm, I'm kind of realizing at this point in our, um, in this zoo, that uh, maybe the reason we had bathroom problems in the past was because guests are just stupid. Waiting in line, waiting in line, you know, all of them. We got 1.1k donations so far. That's like, you know, getting another p-file. Again, the, one of the most easiest challenges in the game, you have to photograph a guest holding an ice cold soda, but that's the only building. Uh, you get uh, that is uh, you know drink at this point in the game so we just have to wait for somebody uh, we got unlucky there's nobody holding one at the moment that there's nobody sitting on the bench either it's funny in the meantime let's uh, let me take a sip of my own ice cold soda and it's actually an energy drink Perfect, you just need the bench. Uh, I don't care about your privacy, little girl, so say hi. Fuck. <laughs> I was, uh, I was like the evil villain, 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 the evil villain in a, in a movie that like, is talking too, too much and then he just like gets roughed off by the protagonist. I like this part of the of this of this music. Listen to it, wait. It's gonna come soon. We are already are one star, so we can buy the Orox. This one. Progress. We got the dirt puff as well.
was really nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to be doing... Looks a little bit weird. Okay. If you just have one slip of land, that's also super weird. Isn't it? Oops. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it looks so stupid. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. Uh, because we can get the jeep ride around here. Oh, we could get the jeep ride on the actual mountain. Perfect, we got the jeep quest exactly at the same time as I bought one, so I'm not sure if that's programmed the same way or not. Do you guys recognize this, recognize this soundtrack? It's from The Witcher 3. It's from Marcin Prizibolit. I, I cannot pronounce that name. I don't like how visible these uh, tracks are, by the way. That's fine. As long as it's not yellow, it's fine. And as always, <clears throat> humans will ruin any natural, natural um, not resource, but natural phenomena just for the sake of progress, just for the sake of making money. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing this to the mountain. But it's fine. Um, any new trees? Oh, we have the blue gum, which is crazy. Um, I thought we would unlock this at like two stars. Uh, this is an Australian temperate forest uh, tree that uh, I really like, actually. I place a couple, not too many. We might uh, put them in a forest later on. Oh, I forgot to give them water. Shit. <laughs> Again, I'll put it in the middle. thinking maybe we could also uh, do uh, an elevated path around here but we can do that later I guess perfect could even do some decorations but we only have the mineral deposit. Mm, but I read something interesting. So um, online they said that the Atlas Mountains is very rich in uh, resources. Actually. Mineral deposits found in this mountain range include gold, silver, zinc, lead and iron. So this is culturally appropriate, actually. Uh, mm, that's fine. That just ruins the... Uh, always, they always ruin the uh, elevation. The smoothness of the terrain. I'll buy another one somewhere.
horrible. Also horrible, but I think we can fix it a little bit. It's the best we can do. Let's make it dirt. Makes more sense. Like here. Look how many guests are in line. Oh, fuck! That scared me so much. This <laughs> this kills the zookeeper. By the way, I'm really surprised that these um, that these peafowls don't eat tomato. You know what I mean? Like, they are not they are not uh, they are not opossums. Or actually, I think in English you call them possums. They're not possums. Like they should be eating tomatoes, right? You know what I mean? Like, why do they reject tomato? I reject tomato. <laughs> I just wanted to play that clip. <laughs> I turned on the music a little bit. So, we should put this donation box here. This is fine, and then next half star we get the antler... Bush antler deer, and I was surprised because <clears throat> let's check the bush antler deer. So they actually have antlers that look like bushes. I thought that this was just artistic liberty, and um, turns out I was wrong about the animal because I was thinking of a different uh, deer that lived in North America that had antlers similar to a moose. If you uh, remember, you might know the name. But it turns out, in real life, these uh, bush antler deers, let me show you. So this is how they look like. They actually had uh, bush-like antlers. Pretty scary, and if you type in their name, it's just Zoo Tycoon, because their actual name is uh, Eucladoceros. Bush antler deer is literally just the Zoo Tycoon name, which is funny. I love this soundtrack. Uh, we haven't unlocked the compost building yet. That pool reminded me. Uh, the latest soundtrack that you heard was called uh, Mandrag Mandragora from the Witcher Free Blood and Wine DLC. Uh, we have two bathrooms, kid. Let's go to the next one. We are actually going to buy another Jeep and then we'll sell it later because there's a lot of guests. Some of these people would, uh, I think, leave by the time that they get uh, you know, in the line. So. Uh, not really much money wasted because th those guests are going to be donating and look at that we already raised 1k in the Jeep uh, donations and that means that we are going to get more guests soon look at that we got let's count how many this is like a horde of zombies it's kind of scaring me yeah 10 guests 10 guests not bad There's nothing else really unlocked except 
uh, reminds it reminded me of uh, buying uh, either the cotton candy cart. Cotton candy cart, I'm pretty sure counts as dessert, and it's the generally speaking the best thing you can buy. Um, I don't think popcorn and pretzel counts as dessert. To be honest with you, uh, they might do. But cotton candy seems to be the thing that guests go for. Kind of like the hot dog and the soda stand of these uh, carts. So we'll unlock that. Uh, I'm also going to be placing down a an ATM soon, but um, you know there's an upkeep for it, so I don't really want to spend extra. Let's check people's money. I don't think you can check people's money here, can you? No. I mean, everybody seems to have above 300. So Orox 2 needs more space. That's probably a bug. Um. Ooh. They are paying a low like a lot of cash for the aurochs number two uh, i think it was already pregnant though so i'm not sure if this is worth it we can buy a new one we can buy a new aurochs for 5.5k so we will do that even if even if she's pregnant i think it's worth it so we are looking for an aurochs and we are looking for a bush antler deer Let's also check what else we unlocked just now. Uh, we're gonna buy the binoculars, definitely. As you can see, guests cannot see to the back of the uh, exhibit, only the half. And the same here, actually. Yeah. Which is, generally speaking, fine because the water and the food is here, so animals spend most of the time here, but we might as well buy one. We also unlocked archways. If we put this down, then guests are going to be going to, uh, you know, watch the animals under it most of the times. And no large restrooms just yet. It's at two stars. Nothing too interesting, I have to say. They cannot actually see anything there. So we'll put the binocular stand around here somewhere. Maybe even at the very top. Oops. Earthquake! No! So they give us free money as long as we repair these damn fence posts. These like earthquake events and like the electricity ones scare me so much because that's literally the only time you hear uh, this like challenge sound or this like uh, earthquake sound. One hour later. I think that's it. Yep. 6.75 Yeah, I'm not sure how much we spent on the defenses, but probably better We probably got more so Yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode If you did in fact enjoy it, uh, please uh, press the like button It helps out a great deal Otherwise in the next episode, uh, we'll be buying another female Orox uh, To replace the one we just sent off to another zoo as well as, please don't eat the flowers. Okay, sleeping. Uh, as well as uh, bush antler deer. Uh, which has died out in Europe some time ago. But maybe some of them have made it to the Atlas Mountains. So, there you go. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What brings you to visit lonely old one Sandy?